I'm terrible at explaining things. I probably shouldn't be making videos, but I just really hope you guys are understanding that I had negative three dollars in the morning and by 12 noon I had a flight to New York. Hey guys, it's Danielle and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just want to talk, hopefully briefly, about just a story to hopefully encourage you guys um, because I've had quite a journey with my faith. Listen, I am no like saint, like we all are sinners, like this is just something that happened to me and I just hope that it encourages you. Um, it's just a testimony that I have and um, yeah. This is not up for debate. I'm not trying to debate anybody. If you have different views, you are more than welcome to those different views. And I'm not trying to argue with anybody re regarding their views. This is just my view and my experience that I personally have with God and why I'm so faithful to him. Around 2011, um, I had just joined a church. It was a brand new church and the message was really, really pushing um, faith and trusting God and believing God and believing God for like crazy things that you alone cannot do or you alone just wouldn't even conceive to be possible. But knowing that God, can, it, all things are possible with God. So I still attend that church, actually. Um, I wanted to go to Fashion Week. I have been um, blogging and I have been like, you know, doing my thing in fashion for sometime like locally and so I wanted to go to fashion week I had already interned and all that like I just I don't know I just needed to be at fashion week and I really wanted to go I look up and it's like two weeks away and I was like oh I just don't have money to fly from Michigan to New York for fashion week but I said you know all things are possible with God and I'm just going to believe him for you know to be able to go to New York so there was a conference that I wanted to go to and it was the independent fashion bloggers conference the tickets, I, I don't know, I just wasn't paying attention to like dates and stuff, but like I look up, and tickets were on sale, they were $60, they sold out so fast, I didn't even get a chance, first of all, I didn't have the money really to buy them, um, but they sold out so fast, so they were gone, and I just really wanted to go. But then, um, a few days later, they announced like, hey, we're giving out four tickets, and all you have to do is submit a video as to why you deserve the tickets. And I was already like doing fashion videos, like kind of, I don't know, they were just crazy videos that I was doing. So I was like, this is easy. Like I've, I'm already doing an editing video, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna submit a video. Submitted the video, they announced the winners. I don't think there was that many um, entries anyway, but like I was one of the winners. So I was like, yes. And that just kind of like, every little step in this story was just like more confirmation, like, okay, God's gonna do it, you know? So, won the tickets, and I'm like, okay, I just need to figure out how I'm gonna get there, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I still didn't have a plane ticket to get to New York. When I got there, I was gonna stay with some friends, but I didn't have a plane ticket to get there. You know, I'm just still believing, like I, of course, doubt comes in. Like, of course, it's like, well, how, girl, how you gonna get this money? Unless you ask some, you know, your grandma, your mom, your mom, somebody, but I didn't wanna do that. I was just believing that God was gonna make a way. Fast forward to, the night prior to me needing to be in New York, um, I packed my suitcase. Like, all of this was the scariest stuff I've ever done. I packed a suitcase. I asked my mom, would she take me to the airport at 6 a.m. the next morning? Yeah, I'll take you. Packing my suitcase, knowing I do not have a plane ticket to go. And I've already asked my mom, like, if you wake your mom up at 6 a.m. and take you to the airport and you ain't got no plane ticket, like, the next morning when she actually got up, I was like, oh my god, like I was shaking and my phone, this is just going to be a thing that my phone is going to ring every time I film a video. When my mom actually got up, I was like shaking because I was like, man, I don't want to get my mom involved in this foolery of me like going to the airport with no money or no plane ticket. Okay, not only did I not have a plane ticket, but I didn't have a plane ticket because I didn't have the money. The day, this is very transparent, I don't care. Actually, that day that I was asking her to take me to the airport, I looked at my account and it was negative $3. Um, it was negative $3. My mom is getting up to take me to the airport. My bag is packed. I'm praying. Um, I just didn't know. Like, But I, I just knew 
what the word said and I believed it to be true like I he can do all things if he did create the heaven and the earth then he can certainly put me on an airplane that's just what I kept thinking and I what I had to keep doing was reciting scriptures in my head or writing them I had my had blackberry at the time I think I kept like saying like he is able he is able he is able in my notes and stuff and like reciting scripture in my head to like block out the doubt because I didn't have any money and my mom was getting in the car waiting on me to come out you know so we're in the car and I had up until this point I hadn't been very vocal about this trip to pretty much anybody because I didn't want their doubt to come in I don't want them to ask me too many questions and me have to expose the fact that I didn't have a ticket and for them to like you know place doubt in my mind like I didn't want that to happen so I just didn't tell anyone so when we were in the car my mom was like so where are you going and I was like dang I didn't even tell her I was where I was going so I told her like hey I'm going to New York I won these um tickets to this conference and I'm staying with Kayla hey Kayla thank you so much girl she's coming up more in this story I'm staying with Kayla like you know whatever so my mom was like oh okay do you do you have enough money and I was like well, you know, I'll pack some snacks and stuff, you know, I just, I didn't want to outright ask her because I just didn't, I, I, I didn't want to, I just didn't want to ask her. So, um, I was like, you know, I, I think I'll be okay, like, I got some snacks and stuff, and so she's like, oh, okay. Well, she didn't say anything else, but she went to the ATM, and she gave me $100, and I was like, thank you, Lord, like, thank you, like, every step was, like, adding to me getting there. I got the tickets for the conference. She gave me $100. $100, we all know that that's not enough to get you back to and from New York. But had I not had the faith to even get out the house, I wouldn't have gotten that $100. You have to think about that. Like, faith um, without works is dead. Me getting out the house was my works. You know what I mean? That was me telling God with my actions that I trust him to make a way you know she gave me the hundred dollars you know I was jumping up on the inside when we pulled up at the airport I was like okay bye like I did not want her to wait around because I didn't want her to like say like oh you got a ticket or like what's going on I didn't want I was just like all right bye see you later like don't wait I'll, I'll be okay yeah she left and I went to the counter I went to every counter our airport is very small so it's like five desks or something I went to the counters to the different um airlines and I was asking them you know like hey what's the ticket price to New York and they were all looking they're like oh so right now it's like $250 or this one's 236 and you know for a one way and I was like oh, okay thank you you know so I just sat down I sat I went and had a seat and I prayed some more. Like, through this whole time, like, I just kept praying. And I kept letting God know that I trust Him. He is faithful. I know He can do this. Like, um, I, I just kept telling Him and myself because it's scary. Like, it's so scary. Um, I just kept telling Him and myself that I trust Him. And I know that He can make a way. I got to the airport at 6 in the morning. I sat there, I sat there, I sat there. My cousin, her stepdad was there. And I was like, oh all right, God, like, this is it. Like, maybe you're going to have him give me the money. And I'm, like, talking to him. And I was like, yeah, you know, like, I don't have the ticket yet. And he was like, mm, you don't have a ticket. You better hurry up and get a ticket because, you know, they're going to be sold out. It's like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> thank you. See you later. Yeah, that didn't happen. Didn't happen with him. Like, I feel like I just kept looking for signs, like, for miracles. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I just kept, I broke up my Bible and I just kept reading scriptures that were that would reaffirm my faith and then I sat there for six hours <laughs> the next flight to New York was at noon and I was like I just kept saying like I'm not going home like I'm not going home I'm getting on somebody's flight you know so I went back up to the ticket counter and it was the same ladies from 6 a.m. that were there and I asked her, I said, you know, have the ticket prices gone down or changed any kind of way? She was like, let me take a look here. She, she said, you know, if they have changed, they've probably gone up. She's like, but I'm going to take a look. It was her and then it was another lady and she was like, well, let's see what we can do because we got to get you out of here. Because she knew I'd been sitting there for six hours. And so she asked the other lady, she said, do you have any buddy passes you can sell her? And I was like, <laughs> like I just crumbled inside like I can still tear up right now like 
I was like, oh my god, please, like, if you have a buddy pass, please, like, <laughs> you know. She did. She was like, well, would you be able to buy a buddy pass from her? And I was like, yes. I was like, I have $100. And she said, okay, that'll work. And then I was like, uh, but that's, that's kind of all I got. <laughs> and um, so she was like, okay, all right, don't worry about it. I gave the other lady $100 for her buddy pass. And the lady that was helping me, she said, well, I'll be right back. And she came back with $10. She said, I hear $10 out of my purse. You could just take that. And I was like, are you sure? Like at this point, I'm like a mess at the counter. And I know they're like, this, this poor little girl, she must be homeless. <laughs> so I was just like so thankful that she gave me that money. But, you know, I just really hope you guys are understanding that I had negative three dollars in the morning and by 12 noon I had a flight to New York just because I refused to give up on God's promises you know she gave me ten dollars I said you know this is not enough for nothing in New York but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it I'm gonna get on this plane and I'm gonna figure it out I had to get from the airport to Kayla's job in Manhattan the airport is in Queens and then we had to make it to Jersey, New Jersey, where Kayla lived. And then I had to, this was on a Wednesday. And I got paid on Friday, so I just had to make it till Friday. I had to get to Jersey on Wednesday. I had to come to Manhattan on Thursday for the conference. And I had to get back to Jersey that night. And then on Friday, I was going to be good. Like, my check was coming. Like, I should be fine. I get to New York. I get off the plane. I have to get a Metro card to get on the train. Um, I'm looking for a machine, a, a guy working in the airport, he, you know, asked, was I okay, like, what am I looking for, and I told him I was looking for a machine, he shows me to the machine, the machine only takes debit cards or credit cards, and I only had cash, and he was like, oh, he was like a young guy, like, he ain't feel like taking me around the airport for real, so, he just paid for a $5 Metro card for me, and I was like, mm, like, at, like, these were little things, but like, Every step was so, I was so grateful for it. And this is kind of ministering to me in my current situation, like how grateful I was then. Like I need to be grateful for every step that's happening now. But I was so grateful for every single thing, for the $100 initially, for the buddy pass, for the $10. Now this guy's giving me a $5 Metro card that certainly is going to get me to, Jer I think it did get me to Jersey. Yeah, I think it did get me to Jersey. Like, it just got me to Jersey. Yeah, I was so grateful. Like, so grateful the whole step of the way. I got got to Jersey, made it to the conference that morning, and I was just beyond blessed by the conference. Like, all the winners, they gave us flip cams. We didn't get to keep them, I don't think. No. But they gave it to us to, like, film for the conference and, like, get footage and stuff and, like... Um, I just felt like we were a little VIP. Like, it was crazy to me, too, because it was like, man, I just, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get here and to, to be here and be treated so well. And, you know, at these conferences, you get gift bags. You know, they had all these celebrity speakers, and it was just such an amazing time. And I met some people that, like, are still, like, I still know them to this day. We're still, you know, in communication. So, it was just a really, really good experience. I'm just so glad, like, I was faithful up until that point. Okay, the story's not over. I get back to Kayla's place and then the next day, you know, I told her all about it. Like, I'm telling her and um, my other friend Paige, they live together. I'm like telling them like, oh my God, oh my God, it's so good. Like, let me tell you what he did. So yeah, the next day I'm like, all right, my mom's going to deposit my check into my account and like, I'm good. Like, I could, you know, do my thing. And because my mom didn't know <laughs> how broke I was. She, like, didn't, she wasn't in a rush to deposit my check. So I'm texting her, like, trying to be, like, sly, like, hey, did you, did you happen to pick up my check yet? Like, <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah, I'm going I'm to grab it. Um, I'm going to go to the bank, you know. But because of that, like, I can't leave New Jersey. And I still, it was still other stuff I wanted to do in New York. So I couldn't leave yet because I didn't have money to go, you know, be out and about. After I spoke with her, I was just like, okay, let me just chill out. And I was reading my Bible. Because I was just trying to, I was just still on a high and I was just trying to stay encouraged. Not trying because I was encouraged. I was just, you know, on fire really. On fire for the Lord. No, I'm I was reading my Bible, flipping through, flipping through. And flipped a page and it was a $20 bill in my Bible. 
And listen, I don't replace, I don't misplace money because I know where my money is at all times. Okay, so I knew I was like, it was just waterworks basically the whole time this trip was happening because I was just in tears yet again. Like, Lord, I don't know where this twenty dollars came from, and it's all such small things. You know, we can't. I don't know. I like to be grateful for just every little thing. So. Twenty dollars is not much to most people, but when you are at home waiting for your check to get deposited and you can't leave the house because you don't have any money and you you know this whole trip was just such a walking on the edge type of trip that twenty dollars was like everything to me at that time. So I was just crying, crying, crying. I didn't care where it came from. I was like, Lord, I'm just not even gonna try to figure it out. Like, just thank you. Like I just knew however it got there, it was spirit led. I was just very thankful. Got dressed so quick <laughs> because I was like, this is all I needed. Like, okay, my mom could deposit my check whenever. You know, I knew it was gonna be that day, but I wasn't in such dire need anymore because like all I really wanted to do was get back to Lincoln Center where Fashion Week was being held um, because I'm a crazy person and I just had my little camera and my notebook and I was like going to interview people just you know on the streets or whatever just, just to have content for my blog and my videos that I was doing at the time. So went there by myself did that like just soldiered on with that 20 bucks and you know my mom deposited my money and just everything just came together so seamlessly and I was just so I felt so protected and I felt like you know God was just carrying me every step of the way and he never provided for me until the point that I needed it you know what I mean like I thought that was just beautiful in itself that I didn't get the hundred dollars from my mom until we were in the car headed to the airport I didn't get the plane ticket until it was boarding time like I went through security check and boarded the plane right away you know what I mean so had I got on the earlier flight you know I may not have ran into that guy who bought my metro card you know what I mean like I just feel like everything was in God's timing and it worked out perfectly according to his plan his ways are not our ways his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and I just couldn't have been more thankful for that experience and I've shared it with so many people but I've always said that I was going to do a testimony video because I just felt like it needed to be um, heard by more people than just my friends that I even feel comfortable talking to God about I, you know it's weird, but you know, all of your friends are not, you know, religious people or, you know, maybe they don't go to church or whatnot. And so just trying to get more comfortable with sharing regardless of that, you know what I mean? Or, but I just don't like to make people feel uncomfortable. So I don't know. It's hard to explain. But I just felt like more people needed to hear this. Hopefully it encourages you to just know that even if you don't have the means or if you can't see how you can do it um just know that god's word is true he can supply all of your needs ask believe and receive you know like i have to right now even right now this is 2015 is april 2015 that was like in 2010 11 but even right now i'm still trying to trying to like increase my faith and really just believe him and for believe in him in areas that you forget he is able to operate in i'm terrible at explaining things i probably should be making videos so certain things you know you forget that you can cast your cares like all of your cares on him you know what i mean so certain areas you just are so focused on getting things done and it's like wait like i can ask god for help for this as well i'm still in the process of even though i went through that amazing experience like that for me was like god is like let me tell you what god could do like he could do anything our pastor like jammed into our head that the the bible is not a lie yeah this this experience really just showed me you know what all god can do and and now after that i really like was trying to tell myself like okay but he's not a genie you know what i mean like i feel like god exposes you to what he's capable of and then he wants to grow you in other areas as well like just because he did that and i trusted him in that like he can, he can he will do better things in the future i'm more than confident in that but he will 
protect me from the things that I think I want. So everything that I want, I will not get. At the end of the day, he wants to protect me. He has my best interest at heart. You know, all things will work together for my good. So like the things that I don't receive, I just know that it's because there's a better option for me that I just am not aware of at the time, you know? So I really hope this story touches you. I mean, just to add some a bit of realness to this story. I mean, everything is real about it. But um, the funny thing is that, um, you know, he provided a way for me to get there. The way back, though, was like, ugh, it was terrible. It was just terrible because I had to spend the night in Newark uh, Airport, International Airport in Newark, New Jersey. And it was because, I mean, okay, the flight there, I had a one-way flight, so I had to book my flight back. Once I, my check was deposited, I went online, found the flight, boom. Or so I thought, boom, because, you know, being stupid, I was like, on my way to the airport, I was thinking like, hmm, I never got a confirmation email. It's like, uh, did I actually book the flight? Like, did I press purchase? No, I didn't. I had to spend the night in Newark's airport which was not fun because that was the first time I realized like, hey, airports shut down at night. Like, I just, I don't know. I thought flights was coming in all throughout the night, but I was like, oh, no one's here. So yeah, it was just not fun on the way back. God was still protecting me, I guess. You know, I made it back, but you know, it was not as, not as um, miraculous on the way back but you know I still am very very thankful for the experience and when I got home and told my friends like so many people were in tears like were led to tears because it was like man that was just so much confirmation for the situation I'm going through or man that just gave me so much hope on what you know I'm praying for and so yeah I'm just here to tell you that God can really do some awesome things and I know that was years ago but like even still to this day like I made another video as to um, why I moved from New York back to Michigan and even that whole process was so seamless. I just hope this story helped. Please just remember that all things are possible with him. Anything, any dreams, any hopes, any um, aspirations that you have, like please just don't doubt yourself. Like, yeah, maybe you don't have the resources right now, but, like, know that he is able to supply all of your needs. There is no lack in the kingdom. Ask and it shall be given to you. Knock and the door shall be open. Like, you don't have it, but he has it because he created the heavens and the earth. All right, you better come on. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. Please ask any questions below. Once again, I don't want to debate about religion, but if you, you know, are a Christian and do have, you know, some nice things to say please comment below all right thanks for watching this video guys and i hope you have a great day see you later bye